Here we are again, Bird Surf Shed with the board of today. Um, today we're looking at kind of an unusual one in some aspects, good stories behind this one. This is a seven foot bonzer that I had uh, Malcolm shaped for me for Hawaii last season. Um, specifically had, had him build this one kind of retro style, I guess some people would call it, meaning that it has a wider outline in the uh, overall uh, dimensions of the board. Still about 19 and three quarters, not terribly wide, seven foot long. But I had to put a little pulled swallowtail, kind of reminiscent of a lot of boards that I rode that had tight swallows in Hawaii when I was uh, younger in the 70s. Kept the deep nose on it, uh, moonlight glasses, of course, or what used to be moonlight. Peter St. Pierre did my colors, which are uh, obvious, the purple and the turquoise there. Um, this is a Bonzer 5, meaning that it does have the two uh, fins on each side equals four, middle fin equals five. They like the single uh, single bonzer on the side most, really. That was the original bonzer design. This is a little looser, doesn't freak people out as much. Um, so that's something that has become more commonplace. But there are people now going back to the traditional three fin bonzer. Uh, this one, I tell you, uh, interesting. I rode it in Hawaii, got hit in the chest with it. Lonnie Akea paddling out, knocked the wind out of me, the air out of me, and um, had to go get uh, some oxygen from the lifeguards at Pike. Paramedics came, checked my heart, looked okay, went home, and over the next three or four months, started to get uh, chest pains and shortness of breath, and it turns out that the impact from the board hitting me in the chest in November of 2017 led to uh, liquid and blood getting into my heart sac over 18 ounces, shut my heart down to 20%. So that uh, led to a couple of weeks in the hospital and multiple other issues. So um, do I blame it on the board? No, it just shit happens when you're surfing. Do I blame it on me? No, because I did my best to get under that wave, but I probably should just let the board go and use the coop cord. It rides good, you know, it needs good waves. I did get good surf on it after I got hurt on it. Uh, you can see a big crease on the deck right here, kind of see it, and that's pretty much where I took the impact when it hit me across the chest, at least I think so, when I took all the wax off of it when I came home from Hawaii, that was the area where I got impacted on, so I'm assuming that's probably it. Um, but it works real good, uh, I'm still waiting for Malcolm to build me on the thing, you know, those guys up there, uh, man, I can't say enough about the Campbell brothers, both on the North Shore at uh, Cafe Haleiwa. For Duncan and then Malcolm in the shaping booth. He cranked this thing out. I know he's a busy guy, but he got it done for me pretty promptly. And then Moonlight, those guys up there at uh, Chris, Chris's shop up at uh, the North County area, it's Christensen, they got it out for me in time for Hawaii. So I might write it the next day or two because the surf is kind of pumping. And there you go. Seven foot bonzer, 19 three quarters, probably two and three quarters thick. Ready to rock. Hope you enjoyed it.